Hey, how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24, back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It's gonna be day 18 of 31 days of Horrortober, guys. This is a re-record. I did do this video yesterday, but it got taken down, copyrighted by YouTube. So pretty much I'm not gonna be able to show trailers anymore, guys. I apologize. If you guys would like to see trailers, please uh, go to YouTube or wherever you can and check out the trailers. Again, apologize guys, it's just been frustrating with YouTube's policy here, so I'm just going to give you guys my straight review and thoughts. It's going to be for day 18, 31 days of Horrortober, it's going to be 2020's The Toll. It's a first time watch for me, it's directed by Michael Nader, he uh, did a lot of daytime television as an actor, he was in Magnum P.I., the soap opera All My Children, it stars Jordan Hayes, House at the End of the Street she came out in. And Max Toppin, Carrie 13, the remake. So those are our main stars here. Let's get into this film, guys. This is about pretty much... You've got this uh, guy. His his name is uh, Max. He's played... No. His name's Spencer. He's played by Max Toppin. And he's like an Uber driver. And he uh, it pretty much starts this film with him going through photos of uh, his, his clients on his phone. He's skipping all the guys. And he comes across this girl... And he stops and he selects her as his first pickup. And it's played by Jordan Hayes. Her name's Cam. Cammy. So he goes to pick her up at the airport. And as he meets with her, she uh, gets in there and tells him that she needs to go, you know, to this area. And he, this address. And he puts it on his navigation. And he says, well, this is way in the boondocks. It's going to be a long drive. She's like, I know. That's fine. So they get in there. They're kind of curious about each other. You know, kind of trying to like, you know, pretty much read each other, but they can't. Um, she pretty much, they get involved in a conversation and right off the bat, she's kind of creeped out by him. He's asking these like bizarre questions and laughing at uh, laughing at these pretty much weird timings on the conversations or whatever. So she's like creeped out by him. She's, they start to chat. She gives him some information that she's going to her dad's house that lives in a ranch. And he's, she, as they start to talk more, she just says, I don't want to talk anymore. She's already like creeped out by him. So she decides to take a nap when she uh, wakes up a little later. They're more into the outskirts. And as she wakes up, they're talking again. And he pretty much tells her like, about her pictures that he was looking at her on social media. So she starts to freak out even more. She gets her mace and puts it by her purse. And as they continue to conversate, there's this back and forth, you know, screening each other. They really don't trust each other. Um, as they get closer to the, the woods there, they're turning towards the driver, Max. He, not Max. I keep calling him Max. His name is Spencer. He makes a turn and she tells him that's the wrong turn, that he made a wrong turn. And he tells her, no, that it's on the navigation. So as he shows her it, it is true. It is on the navigation. So she said, oh, maybe it's just a shortcut or something. So. As they drive more down the road, they almost hit this kind of figure. He has to hit the brakes. And as this happens, um, it disappears, this figure. And then their vehicle, of course, breaks down. It won't start. Um, his navigation goes off. So they're pretty much freaked out. Decide to go uh, look for help. She decides to go look for help. But as she goes around, she keeps going in a circle and ending up at the same, same area. So then he attempts to hit the driver and he ends up in the same area as well they're like in this pretty much like area that's real bizarre and they uh, approach this lady which pretty much warns them that you know they're they're stuck in this dimension by this guy called the toll man and that the only thing he'll receive is pretty much their blood death so they don't believe him more bizarre stuff starts to happen and they have to kind of bond together and fight these hallucinations he's this guy known as the Toll Man is pretty much, he gets in their head and makes them hallucinate and tries to pretty much turn them on each other. That's the Toll Man right there. He looks pretty cool. He looks like a mixture of like a slasher, smiley, and slender man in one. I thought he looked real cool. And it's just them trying to survive out there and make it out of this kind of like dimension they're trapped in. And at the same time, they got to learn to trust each other, which they don't. So it leads to pretty much a survival tactic there. And has some pretty creepy uh, illusions and s stuff in here in the middle of the woods I really liked. So um, that's that's what I'm going to get into in the film. I'm going to give you guys my 
thoughts on this film. I really liked it. I thought it was real claustrophobic and atmospheric. I like the illusions, the look of the, the evil entity in here and everything else. I thought it was played well. I thought the back and forth between the main actress protagonist was excellent. Um, not much complaints on this one, guys. I'm going to give it a four out of five. My thoughts and opinions. That's 2020's The Toll. Um, everyone hit a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. This is for day 18 of 31 Days of Horror Tober. Everyone have a happy October out there. This is Undead Nightmare 24. Back with a video. Keep it horror. Peace. <laughs>